The notion of building blocks is a concept unique to fast draw and was developed based on the observation that most football diagrams are the result of compositing various partial diagrams together. For example, you could create several different building blocks, your pro formations, and then just add a quick 4-3 base defense on top of that layer and not have to add all 11 players to the field every single time you draw a play. Fast draw makes the creation and application of these types of building blocks simple and efficient. By creating an excellent library of building blocks, you will be able to quickly and consistently create any full diagram you need in the future. Before creating a building block diagram, determine what type of building block you will be using. Building blocks are categorized by side of ball, offense, defense, and special teams. You can also apply a series label to any of your building blocks in fast draw that let you quickly organize your diagrams by concept. Typical examples of series values for football could be formations and or fronts. Once you know you want to draw a building block, make sure you have the building block tab selected in the play library and have the correct side of ball selected below and the tabs you'd like to draw the new building block for. Once you're ready to select your new building block, click on New Play at the top of your screen. This pop-up will let you configure your plays with the starting parameters for your diagram. Follow these next steps to create your new building block. The first step you want to do is enter in the name of the building block you would like to draw. Now select the series value for this building block that you would like to use as well. You can also click on the add button next to this series to include additional series as well. Now use your mouse to highlight the area of the football field in the preview box that you'd like to display your diagram. In this example, since we'll be diagramming only the offensive formation, we will highlight from the 45 to the 35 with the line of scrimmage being at the 50. To adjust the line of scrimmage, simply click on the line of scrimmage button. And now you can drag and you'll notice the line of scrimmage in the preview box will move. Additionally, you can also change the window of preview by selecting different lines of scrimmage in these drop downs as well. And to further customize your field of play for your building blocks, you can also change your field to include the left sideline and also change the placement of the ball to the left hash and the right hash or in the center. You also have all kinds of different options to include hash marks, yard lines, numbers, and you can also change your field to, to use different fields that you would like. Once you're finished, go ahead and click OK. You are now ready to actually diagram your building block. You can start by dragging and dropping the positions from the offensive palette, since this is an offensive play, onto the correct location onto the field. So as you can see, the actual mechanics of drawing a building block or any play in fast draw is very simple by using just the drag and drop feature to bring over all of your players. These same principles apply to all of your routes and stencils as well. So if you wanted to add certain routes or blocks or shifts or motions, you can do so by seeing all of them by clicking on the up and down scroll arrows and then drag and drop those and place them onto the field next to the player and adjust where you'd like them to go onto the field. The delete key can also be used to remove objects from the diagram. So if I'd like to remove a stencil, select it, and simply hit delete on your keyboard. You can even right click on the field or any player in the field to customize how you want that building block to be displayed.
Play around with the various options available so you can get it comfortable diagramming a fast draw. To create additional building block diagrams, you can repeat the steps you just learned as often as you would like. However, it is often easier to start with a copy of a building block and modify it versus starting from scratch every single time you want to create a new building block. For example, if we wanted to create an eye formation out of this fire formation, we can do so by modifying a few players in the backfield after we've copied this building block. To start the copying function, select on the copy play to icon in the play editor window and choose the team you want to copy this to as a building block. Once you've done so, you can now type in the new play name of your building block that you would like and select OK. Now you'll notice over in the library, you'll now have two building blocks under base, fire and eye. So now to modify the eye formation, we will select the eye and go over to our play diagram and just modify the lineup however you would like to make that eye formation building block. 